What's going on everybody? It's Max with My Kind of Beats and we're here in the sweetest city in China, Wuxi. A city that's known for being more of like a resort, just a getaway from that hectic Shanghai lifestyle. The cuisine's known for fresh seafood, delicate flavors, and that extra scoop of sugar. I'm so excited I get to bring you along with me and I know one thing for sure, it's gonna be a sweet, sweet adventure. Let's get it started. All right, we're here at the first place. We're here at Mao Hua, which is known for the Yulan Bing, which is gonna be a rice dumpling stuffed with beef, that wuxi sweet sauce, and then fried up and served nice, hot, and fresh. We're gonna get inside, place our order, grab our food, and find a seat. Let's go. Beast here for breakfast. Went ahead and got some of their specialty noodles as well. Cause like I said, I know these are supposed to be stuffed with something sweet. So I kind of want something to break up that sweetness as I'm eating. So many things we can choose from here, but I gotta go for the Yulan, what they're known for. Now this thing is a massive, almost don't know how to attack it. Cause I know it's full of steaming hot juices. I think what I'm gonna do is take a bite and just check out the insides real quick. Whoa. Oh, look at the stuffed meat on the inside. That looks absolutely amazing. And look at the juices. They're just starting to flow out of this thing. But I'm ready for the real bite this time. Mm. It's nice, meaty, just fall apart, melt in your mouth from the sweetness as well. That wuxi sweet sauce is almost just like really thin maple syrup. And then the rice dumpling batter melts in your mouth, gives you a little crunch, it's chewy, it's fun to eat. I find myself craving some noodles and some soup just to break up that sweetness. Oh wow, nice, great pair, great, great, great combination. Great cooked noodles. Not much flavor coming from them though, but like I said, they're gonna be the palate cleanser. I got things to add here. Let's see what this sauce is all about. Mm. Salt packed black bean umami sauce with some meat in there. Ooh, that's actually a nice little extra little flavor component. I'm digging that. Last thing we got is like the bamboo and tofu and just like that slurpy Chinese style sauce. It's okay, it's actually got a little bit of kick of heat. First thing I've had is had some kick of heat here, but it's not my favorite. I think I'll stick to the umami sauce, the noodles, and definitely it's Yulan. I think noodles look their best when they got little flakes of chili just holding on to each little strand. Mm. Shout out to the noodles for being the Robin. They're not the main star, but without them, these would not be Batman. These would not be near as good without these because you got to cleanse that palate. Oh yeah, the Yulan, by far, the best thing they got there. Wow, I can't believe that was a savory dish because it was so sweet. I mean, they were sweeter than most Chinese desserts I've had. But like I said, gotta order something kind of savory to go with them. Play on that counterbalance. Try to get a little savory, a little sweet going. Just makes for a great first meal, but let's keep moving. Cool. 
All right, so we're here in the center of Wuxi, over by the Nanchian Temple. We got the Miao Guan Tower just right here, and then behind it, you have the Nanchian Temple. I'm telling you, the architecture here is just absolutely breathtaking. In southern China, I mean, you just get that dark wood architecture, the attention to detail. It's just something you've gotta, gotta come see. Uh, such a beautiful scene, seeing the people pray, seeing the beautiful architecture, hearing the hymns, you just kind of feel your mind clear. It's just a very peaceful, meditative area. All right, and we're here. We're gonna get some local favorite street food. We're gonna get what's called Song Yao Jijer Da Bing, which translates to scallion, oil, egg, big bread. And that's exactly what it is. They're frying it up, and it's just street food favorite here. Ah, Y'all, these people are too friendly, so they also make these little cakes right here. They're butternut squash little cakes. I can't remember the Chinese name. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's a it's a butternut squash, just little little cake right here, and they let me have one to try while they make the song yo jiu da bing. Oh, let's try one out. <laughs> oh, no. It's light and airy, like an angel food cake. You get a slight butternut squash taste. It's got a little kick of sugar at the end, but then since it is so small, you get all that crispy, golden, baked up crunch on the outside. Oh, wow, sure, wow. Mmm, <laughs> the perfect little tea time snack. Not too sweet, which I'm surprised because we're here in Wuxi, but so delicious. Oh, look at this. They got this mixture here. It's just pure caramelized onion, soy salt, sugar, and salt. She dips it into the Chinese chives and then puts it in the dough, wraps in a ball, flattens it up, throws it in the grease, and it automatically puffs up. Why oh, did you see that egg? It just expanded so quickly when she threw it in that hot hole, and the perfect dismount on top with the bean. And look at this thing. It is massive, it is greasy, and so fragrant. You can just smell the green onions coming out of it. Can't wait to take a bite. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. It's crunchy, it's greasy. It's got a huge caramelized onion flavor to it. And then it's just crunchy, crispy fried dough that they were adding sugar to as well. It's got a little bit of saltiness to it. This has everything. I wanna get a little deeper though and get some egg. That is the money bite. I'm telling you what, the secret sauce to why this is so good is that onion mixture they put in there. It's salty, it's soy saucy, it's sweet, umami, caramelized onions. I don't want to keep talking, I just want to keep going back for bite and bite. What I love about eating this is like eating two different things. Around the edges where you don't get the egg, it's really sweet and doughy and sugary melt in your mouth. But when you get in the middle where that egg is, it becomes really savory. It reminds me a lot of like a McGriddle because you have the sweet little outside and then you get the savory inside. <laughs> For sure, I cannot misplace some of the sweetest people serving up the sweetest snacks. We are just north of the temple. I want to take you through and show you this little outdoor market that is absolutely humongous and crowded. Oh yeah, I feel at home now. It's loud, it's fragrant, it's high pace. There's horns going off everywhere. This is home to me. Ooh. 
Ooh, look at all the buns here. People are just lining up. Got to get all different types of just buns. Before coming to China, I thought Beijing was a duck capital. You know, got the Beijing roast duck, right? But you get here below the Yangtze River, and they are just duck crazy everywhere. Roast duck, duck heads. I mean, every piece of duck you can imagine cooked so many different ways. They are truly duck crazy down here in the south. The people are so sweet here. No pun intended. I think they're just running on a little bit of a sugar high. Come here, check it out. Everybody will be super friendly to you. All right, y'all, we are at the last restaurant for a day, a restaurant where people travel from all over China to go to. It is a China Thai modern restaurant. It's something that started maybe as a small restaurant and has really blossomed into a mega enterprise. This place is humongous and they're famous for their wuxi pork spare ribs. Let's get in here and try some. Whoa, look at this. It's massive and it is beautiful. Oh, breathtaking. Wow, this restaurant is absolutely beautiful. First one in here, but it also is burning up in here. I cannot keep this jacket on. So they got an extensive menu here. But like I said, I really want to get the Wuxi spare ribs. That's what they're known for. But I do want to get the small portion because I want to get a lot of different other things because there's still a lot of other special dishes you need to try when here in Wuxi. So today I decided to hold off on the seafood just because I'm not near the lake. I think if you want to go and enjoy seafood, you need to go to the source. You need to go to the water where they're catching it right there. It's fresh. It's a day of. I'm not saying it isn't here. I'm just always a big believer of going to the source for seafood. Oh, and it just comes at you with that fragrant pork roasted flavor. The sugar, the spices they cook it in. Oh, it just comes at you and takes over your senses. Now the rest of the dish is supposed to take a little bit, so I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna dig into these while they are just piping hot. It just melts and dissolves in your mouth, combined with that super sugary sweet sauce and that fall apart tender meat. I mean, it's just a combination where it just melts and it dissolves. This is the Wuxi people sauce and it is sweet. Mm. I mean, these are just sugar packed. I think what I would really like though is just like a little bit more soy sauce or something to play against that sugar. Maybe get a little more salty, sweet balance with it and then just because I am from the south, I'm from barbecue country, I just need some smoke in this pork meat. I think that smoke, that depth of flavor, and that extra dimension, and then the balance between salty and sweet a little bit more, would take these to another level. I'm not gonna lie, those, these are still phenomenal. Mm. Not to mention feeling healthy, how about this major amount of broccoli they give you here? <laughs> Can't go wrong with these. Maybe just missing a few dimensions, that's it. I'm telling you what, I've enjoyed amazing meals in my life, but sometimes I think I could just eat bowls of rice. All right, let's change gears for a second and get the Xiaolong Bao. Oh, just look at, you can see the soup at the bottom, just piled at the bottom. I can see it moving and flowing in there. Can y'all see that? Can you see the juices just flowing everywhere? Oh, this is gonna be too hot already, I know, but I can't wait any longer. Mmm. Oh, that juice inside. These are so juicy. They're not near as sweet as I thought they were gonna be. Compared to the thing I had this morning, I thought those juices were just gonna be like a maple syrup thickness. I was wrong. They're just meaty. And then the sweetness. Oh, that is so nice because you don't get the sugar kick first. You get the meat and then you get just that little bit of sweetness. Oh, that is awesome. Meaty, packed, very thin wrapper. That vinegar and meat play on it. So you get like a little sour and then the sweet comes. So you get a big sour sweet component. It's meaty, tender fall apart. And then the wrapper is awesome. Super thin, so nice. I will admit they're a little hit or miss. This one's so juicy. And then this one's already busted open. This one's a little depressing, but this one looks phenomenal. Oh, and the last specialties here, got the meatballs. They're wrapped in that tofu skin. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just get a big bite while it's still steaming hot. Mm. Mm. Melt in your mouth. It's soy sauce packed, super salty, meaty, and just creamy, 
fall apart, very delicate flavors. You just want to take small bites of this, go back, dunk it in the sauce, and keep biting, dunk in the sauce, keep biting, dunk in the sauce, keep biting. Mm. Again, maybe it's because all my other dishes have been packed with sugar, but this is not near as sugar packed as I thought it would be. I'm really enjoying it so much. Just getting that salty meatiness, that savoriness. I mean, wow, they're just doing three fantastic wuxi specialties. I tell you what, this city does not get the nickname Sweetest Sea in China just for the food. The people have been some of the friendliest out of all my travels. I tell you what, they take the cake. Mm. It's a max of my kind of eats. I'll catch you at the next video.